Before I even read One Piece, I had been debating it for a while, knowing just how lengthy it could be, and one of the things that I've always heard was that I should read at least the first hundred chapters, and if I still didn't like it, then I could drop the series. And welp, here we are, nearly a hundred chapters in, and I can see why they said it, because this arc is the reason why people say that. This arc is the accumulation of like the past 70 chapters, and oh, I got some opinions about it, but there's a lot of lighthearted moments in here too, so I want to talk about those as well. We get like a glimpse of Nami and her foster family with Belle Marie, and we see how she's not really the best mother, but she's trying, and Nami starts taking the good and mostly the bad influences from her. There is Momu, Momu? A sea creature from the Grand Line, I think, who is this like adorable sea cow. Like there has to be a Momu plushie, right? And when it tries to attack Luffy and Sanji, they both beat up the sea cow. So later when they meet Arlong and they summon Momu, we see that it's all beaten up and sad. It's only when I got to this arc and practically finished the entire saga of East Blue that I realized how crucial Navi's role is. And that's in part because I went blindly into One Piece and just kind of underestimated its structure. But no, since chapter 9, we've gotten glimpses into the core themes of the saga and the greater series as a whole. Uh, what it means to be a pirate, the effects of piracy on communities, the value and place of wealth and treasure. All of that comes together as Nami steals the go and marry and sails to Arlong Park as the entire crew chases after her. And we learn that with all that wealth, she plans to purchase her home village. Arlong Park is a place set up by Arlong and the Fishman Pirates as they conquer and pillage the island and raid their valuables, setting them up to be exploited or to face death. And I mean, they are ruthless. They will literally flip a town upside down. Not a single building, but every single building upside down. We see why she puts a value in wealth, not just to gain it for herself, but to try to use it to save people she values from a life of torture and paying debt. Something that we've seen wealth being used for so far in the series. Not just for collecting wealth, but also using that wealth in a form that grants value. Like for rebuilding after the events that occurred in Orange Town. You could ask, is this worth it? Wouldn't it be better if she escaped? And the story tackles that thought process too. Like, while a single individual like Nami might be able to escape, we know that it carries broader implications. Throughout this entire arc, we see similar stuff like this, where Nami has to act in a very deliberate way. Like, she's defusing a bomb. She's trying to not get attached to people that she knows she's going to have to betray. She's trying to get away from harm's reach by isolating and separating herself from those she cares about. She's trying to comfort those who know are hurt by lying about how she feels. And she knows that she can't act irrationally because there's just too much at risk. Every scene in this arc feels like a hostage negotiation. Even up till now, outside powers haven't been able to save them because they're just so utterly out of the reach. No help comes their way and those who do show up are on Arlong's side. Like the ones who are hired by Arlong to rob Nami's wealth that she works so hard to collect. And again, she along with the rest of her town are mostly helpless to do anything about the situation. Even when Nami confronts Arlong about what he just did, essentially lying and betraying the deal that he made, what is Nami gonna do? Take on the Fishman Pirates one by one? Get the random townsfolk to fight? run away? We all know how those are gonna turn out. So she tries to fake it and pretends everything's okay even when it's not until she just can't. And it's not until halfway through this arc that she finally breaks down and tries to stab the tattoo just off of herself that we see the utter disparity and hopelessness from her. Just tremendous build up to her finally asking Luffy to help her after everything that's happened. Luffy gives her the straw hat both as a way to say, like, I'll protect your treasure, you protect mine, and as a way of showcasing that she, despite everything that she's done, is part of their crew. And then we get probably, like, the most hyped scene yet. So Zoro, probably one of the strongest swordsmen in East Blue, Sanji, a cook who learned how to kick from the pirate who survived the Grand Line, and Luffy, the rubber man himself, and also Usopp is there too, I guess, are all just standing there 
waiting to go, waiting for like Luffy to give the command, and they just all bust in there, find Arlong, and just start swinging. I love that after all this buildup, no more talking, like no more stalling, let's just go in there and beat him up. And you know what? The fight is pretty solid. By the way, I love that Usopp gets a moment in the spotlight. I will say I did underestimate Usopp, but I like that as one of the weaker characters, like the most human character strength-wise alongside uh, Nami. They're still willing to fight, and I love that Usopp gets that moment in the spotlight, because I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't really sold on him. Anyhow, this ending was particularly strong, as Luffy just destroys where Nami was forced to work, taking down Arlong's entire building with it. Not only helping the village, but also freeing up East Blue from all of the potential danger of the Fishman Pirates. Allowing Nami to be a navigator and map out the entire world at her own will. So she finally decides to join the crew as they head towards, finally, the Grand Line. I'm not gonna lie, I cried like five times. I can see why people say to read it till here and then make up your mind, because this is, oh man, I'm gonna, I literally am tearing up just thinking about it. All right, um, you know what to do. Uh, press the buttons, do what you want.